So hello people, how you going today? My name is Glenn and today I have some German coins and as you can see from this coin here down below on the bottom row these are from Nazi Germany now these are all Reichsmark and Reichsfennigs coins Germany after 19... Oh, about 1932 or something uh, never issued any rent and finny coins. They did issue rent and mark banknotes, but after 1933, they were all just Reich marks and Reich finnies. So, as you can see here, these were the last issue of the base metal coins. Uh, I don't have the one and two uh, Reich finnies in the 30s, but. I have 1936, 40, 5, and 10. And in 1936, uh, in 1936, these coins actually replaced the older version. Now, these ones here are the Nazi style coins. So we have the normal denomination, except on uh, the new style coins, Deutsches Reich is actually on the back, so as the denomination has A, which is the mint mark, so that's Berlin, and on the obverse, so this is the obverse, we have the German Nazi Eagle with the swastika, we have Deutsches Reich, and we have the date 1937. So from 1937, these coins, one, two, Five and ten Reichsfennigs were actually minted in large numbers. The 50 Reichsfennigs, so this is the same one that was issued in the Weimar Republic. So these were used up until the start of Second World War. And these were only replaced in 1938 by a coin the same size, but with the swastika. So, these nickel, one race mark coins were issued in 1933, so this is 1934, and they replaced the silver issue that was uh, in circulation. And then we have the two race marks and the five race marks. These uh, started to be issued in 1934, and they are actually smaller than the two and five Reichsmarks that were issued beforehand under the Weimar Republic. So, the one and two Reichsmark Fennigs, should I say, are uh, bronze, has the swastika E on it, quite a nice coin. I actually like the design, even though it, what it represents is pretty bad. Okay, the five and ten Reichsfennigs, so aluminium bronze, has the eagle on it as well. The 50 and one, Reichsmarks uh, nickel, so quite a high quality coin, and it has a, uh, on the reverse it has uh, the Weimar Eagle, which was used up until 1939 when they were replaced by the Renton Fenny banknote, as there was no one Reichsmark banknote issued. And for Eigenfurts, on the two Reichsmark coin, we have the date, the German Eagle, the swastika, and on the reverse, or obverse, we have Paul von Hindenburg, and we have his date of birth and death, so 1847 to 1934, and he was actually a general in the First World War, and this is the same design as the five Reichsmarks here, but I don't want to take it out of the cover. So 1936 is actually a common year for that. And this one is also dated 1936, but it has the Weimar Eagle on it. And the other side has Paul von Hindenburg as well. And the two and five are actually silver. Um, I believe you can buy these for about 15 Australian dollars and these for, I don't know, about 25 Australian dollars. As you can see, I got mine for 10 dollars. That was 20, 30 years ago. So inflation has eaten your money, people. 
So, that's what happens with uh, base metal coins and banknotes. The value just disappears. Where the value of these stay as, well, whatever the silver value is. And uh, collector's value as well. So, those are the German coins issued between 1936 and 19... Oh, 1933, should I say? And 1940, when uh, they were replaced by zinc in the aluminium coins. So, I thank you very much for watching. And collect these type of coins, because they're awesome. And, yeah, they're actually pretty in high demand because of uh, what they represent. So please like and subscribe and have an awesome time people. Thank you. Bye bye.